In Cyberpunk, there are weapon rarities, and one of the rarities that you want to have is legendaries. Today, we're going to talk about weapon rarities and how to get legendary weapons in the gear. So let's go ahead and talk about that. As of, uh, this is Laserbolt and welcome to today's video. Boy, are we getting a ton of information from Cyberpunk 2077. We are getting a lot of information because we are getting closer and closer to the release of the game. I believe we're 100 days out, so just a couple months for the release of Cyberpunk 2077. I am extremely excited and one thing I'm extremely excited about is how to get legendaries plus weapon rarities, how we're going to be able to have them, how we're able to get them, and that's going to be primarily the grind when it comes to Cyberpunk 27, trying to get the best out of all the weapons you could possibly get. Of course, we will have extensive guides showing you guys how to get each weapon once the game launches, so you guys are definitely going to want to make sure you stay tuned to the channel. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you guys won't miss those juicy videos. But before we get started, I do want to remind you guys about our Cyberpunk 2077 massive giveaway. We're going to be giving away one free copy for the system of your choice of Cyberpunk 2077 to enter and participate. It is extremely super easy. All you got to do is make sure you like the video, drop a comment in the comment section down below, but most importantly, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications because you want to make sure you get notified when Cyberpunk videos go out because the more you comment on these videos, the more entries you will have to enter and participate. So start commenting now and subscribe and turn on those notifications. Also follow us on our social medias on Twitch and Twitter. Speaking of Twitch, guys, we stream every single day. So if you haven't had a chance to check us out, make sure you guys stop over our Twitch channel and check us out live on stream. Plus, we will be streaming Cyberpunk 2077 early, so you want to get an early glimpse at the game and how it plays, make sure you guys follow us on Twitch. Twitch link is down below, and I'll see you guys over there. So there are a ton of weapon rarities when it comes to Cyberpunk 2077. These weapon rarities are going to be varied in different areas. We're going to talk about all the different rarities, and the most important thing is how you're going to be able to get those juicy legendaries. Just like those juicy legendaries, we have Laser Bolt merch. If you haven't had a chance to check it out and look stylish, definitely check them out. So let's talk about these weapon rarities, guys. So there are a total of four different types of weapon rarities in the game. We have common, uncommon, rare, and legendary. Now, all of these weapons are going to be easy to obtain. Some of them are going to be easier than others. Some are going to be a little bit more challenging, and some you're going to be able to purchase from vendors. Now, of course, your common and uncommon and rare weapons, all these weapons are part of different sets of assignments that you're able to get. For example, you get common weapons from buying from a vending machine. You get common weapons and uncommon weapons from buying from a vendor. You get uncommon and rare weapons also from purchasing from the black market and also from certain companies that are going to be allowing you to get these uncommon and rare weapons. In addition to that, guys, you're also going to be able to pick up these weapons as floor loot. So whenever you kill an enemy or whenever you down an enemy, you are then going to have an option to pick up any of these weapons. So those are pretty much your common, your uncommon common and rare but i know everybody everybody wants to know how to get their hands on the legendary weapons and where you're going to be able to obtain these of course as you guys know the more you get higher up in rarities the more attachments you're going to be able to have these weapons and the more powerful these weapons are going to be so if everybody's looking for legendary weapons these are going to be the most powerful weapons and of course they're going to be the harder ones to obtain and also find Remember, Night City is a big, big, massive world, and there's going to be multiple areas where you're going to be able to go, and a lot of hidden areas and hidden NPCs that you're going to have to find and explore in the world. Like I said, guys, I'm going to have you guys completely covered when it comes to finding all these legendary weapons, because it is going to be crazy, crazy finding every once. So what exactly are the benefits of a legendary weapon? Well, legendary weapons possess a special trait that cannot be found in any other gun. So as of right now, we haven't had a chance to check out a specific legendary weapon that we know is legendary. So we don't know what that special trait is per se, and we don't know if each legendary would have its own special trait or do all legendaries have the same special traits. As of right now, that is information we currently don't know. But as we find out later on, I'll definitely make a video, guys, going into the special traits for each legendary weapon. Because we definitely do need more information on that. Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to buy these legendary weapons at a store or from any sort of vending machine or anything like that. These weapons are set to be only available 
in two different areas. You'll either need to find them in caches scattered across the city. So this is where I'm saying, guys, it's going to be extremely important that you check every corner, every nick and cranny in a Night City to be able to find these caches. Now, I'm pretty sure these caches are not going to be like, you know, just roaming around on the street and you find them on the sidewalk, right? There's definitely going to be areas that we're going to have to go, maybe fight some enemies, maybe do some parkour and get to a higher level. So these are going to be scattered throughout the Night City. We don't know how many of these caches are going to be scattered around Night City. So there could be 10, 20, 30, 40, because we don't know exactly the amount of legendary weapons that there are. But we do know that once we find one of these caches, we're going to have to go ahead and get ourselves a legendary weapon. Now, remember, guys, this game is very similar to Deus Ex. And in Deus Ex, there were caches as well. And these caches were only available to be opened if you were able to hack into the cache. Now, I don't know if that's the way it's going to work in this game. But if it does work the same way, then you're definitely going to want to make sure that on your nod that you're able to upgrade your hacker ability so you guys won't be stuck trying to open a cache and unable to open it because your hacker skills suck. Now, the other way that you're able to actually obtain legendary weapons, you're going to have to make a choice, guys. And the choice is actually going to be pretty hard because you're in Night City. You're going to be running around and finding a lot of NPCs. You're also going to be finding a lot of enemies. But some of these NPCs are not always going to be your enemies. Some of these NPCs might be friendly. They might be your best friend. They might be your neighbor. You don't know. We don't know exactly where these NPCs, who they could be or, you know, what type of correlation or relationship they're going to have with you. But one of these NPCs or some of these NPCs are going to have legendary weapons in their possession. So some of them might be your friend and he might be hooking you up with a job and telling you guys, you know, this job is actually pretty good. But he has a legendary weapon and that legendary weapon is OP. Now, the only way you're able to actually obtain that legendary weapon is by you deciding to terminate that NPC. So you're going to have to make a choice whether you want to keep your friend or if you feel like the legendary weapon is more important than your friend. So those are the choices you're going to have to make. And as of right now, those are the only two different ways that we know of that you're able to get legendary weapons. Number one is finding caches around the city. And number two is by janking them off the fingertips of the NPCs, whether they're friendly or they're foes. Now, if they're foes, you're definitely not going to have a problem definitely janking them off because you're not going to have any sort of sentimental value or anything attached to, you know, killing someone that's actually shooting you. It's just going to be like, I want to shoot you first and get your gun, right? So that's the, that's the fun factor. But there is also the option in that area or that little gray area where the NPC could actually be your friend and you might have to decide to terminate him and get his gun. So it's going to be up to you to decide what's more important. Is the legendary weapon more important or is the NPC more important? Let me know what you guys are going to decide as of right now without having any sentimental value in the comment section down below. NPC or legendary weapon? Leave it in the comment section down below. But that pretty much, guys, covers all the legendary weapons and all the weapon rarities found in Cyberpunk 2077. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think of the weapon rarities? Are you guys happy what we have common, uncommon, rare, and legendary? Would you guys have liked to see more? Or do you think those four different sets of rarities are pretty much defined and pretty well? For the game being an RPG, these are pretty much the uh, norm, norm when it comes to weapon rarities. I'm pretty excited about the game. Extremely excited that we're going to be able to find these legendaries. I can't wait to actually test them out, see what they do, and hopefully each legendary weapon has its own special traits. We're eager to find out if that's the case. Well, there you guys have it. That is the weapon rarities. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, if you want to see more Cyberpunk 27 content, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications. In addition to that, make sure you guys follow us on Twitch. And good luck to everybody that's participating in the giveaway. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video.